And I'm holding eagle feathers, and this first eagle feather that I'm holding is an eagle plume, and um, Megase is the bald eagle, and they say that Megase is the creature or the animal that speaks between uh, spirit world and this world. Um, the eagle is representative of the only creature that stood up um, with Creator and spoke up for the human family. So when we pray, we pray with these eagle feathers. And down the center of each of our eagle feathers is what we call our red road. And this red road that we're walking on, it's very easy to fall through the cracks when we pick up all those negative things in our life, like lateral violence, like gossip, alcohol, and drugs. When we get off that red road, we know that no matter what, we can always get back on that red road. And we call that Bimadzuin, living the good life. Um, I'm thankful for Mikasa. I'm thankful um, for my spirit name, Genukwe, which is Golden Eagle Woman. Um, the eagle has been that speaker for uh, the Anishinaabek people and our connection to Creator. So we say chi miigwech for me to say, um, and I feel honored that I carry these eagle feathers that I've been given. Um, we have four sacred medicines. Uh, the first medicine given to us was tobacco, which is um, a gift from Creator. And before we do anything, before we approach an elder, before we pick our medicines, we always offer our sema, our tobacco. And we talk about that plant tobacco that's a gift from Mother Earth, not the cigarette tobacco, because it has so many chemicals and it's really harmful. When we use our medicines in a bad way, it can come back to harm you, and we see that with lung cancer and emphysema and all those things that are on the cigarette packages. So we strongly urge our kids as Anishinaabek, but all kids, to just put that tobacco down and to use it in a good way. It's a gift from Creator. Um, our other medicines we have is sage, which is women's medicine, and we use that for um, all different things. People put it up in their homes um, to protect them, um, that sort of thing. And and one of our other medicines is cedar, which incidentally is my daughter's name. And cedar is also a gift from Creator. And cedar is the first tree that was given to us by Creator. And cedar we use in tea, we use it for bathing. Um, all our women that are carrying babies, they use that to cleanse and purify themselves during that special time of that time of being a life giver. And our last medicine is our sweet grass. And our sweet grass is representative of the braids of Mother Earth. Um, they say that that's the first grass that was given to us by Creator. In our ceremonies and in our traditions, uh, we also smudge. And what that smudging is, it's, it's cleansing. Um, we burn some of our medicines and that smoke rises up to Creator. And it's about cleansing and purifying ourselves and doing things in a good way. Creator is kind and gentle and that's the way we would like to be. My name is Suzanne Smoke and we're standing here in the Native Gallery at the Georgina Art Centre and Gallery in Sutton. And I'd like to show some of the artwork of some of our Native artists that we're showcasing. Uh, behind me we have Freddie Taylor from Curve Lake First Nation. He is a residential school survivor and his artwork is stunning and amazing. And um, I look at the paintings and in my heart I see the healing and the hurt um, from the intergenerational effects of residential school and what it's done to First Nations people. Here in the Art Center and Gallery we like to showcase the work of our Native artists. We're also showcasing the work of Todd Jameson and Alfie Fishcat. And most recently we'll be working with the Schilling family, Travis Bawabin and the late Arthur Schilling, showing our intergenerational collection coming this June through August. Here in the newly uh, revamped gallery, we're also looking for local Native artists. We show some of the work from Georgina Island local residents, Cedar Smoke, Becky Big Canoe, Lori Williamson, um, among others. Um, we're looking for Native artists um, all the time. If you want to give us a call here at the Georgina Art Centre and Gallery at 905-722-8608.
Suzanne Smoke is a fierce advocate for indigenous people. She works full-time in community outreach and engagement with a focus on anti-human trafficking. My most rewarding part of my work, I guess being a strong indigenous woman for my daughter, Cedar. Um, Olga Magisha Gokwe is her spirit name. Um, she's been my gift. I'm gonna get choked up. <laughs> she's my gift and I wanted her to know what it's like to be a strong, indigenous, resilient woman. We are sacred, we have a womb, we have a right to be here. And we lead our communities um, with that water in mind and protecting the water. You know, Cedar was born in water, I carried her in water. And I've told her and, and many other women, we are magnificent because we're the only doorway that brings that new life to the earth. And so we're sacred beings and we need to be honored as such. We can't have reconciliation without truth. And I think that it's a buzzword right now, but I think we have to have more action. And I think for Indigenous people, we've done nothing wrong. We have nothing to reconcile. And that's Canadians' role. And, you know, when I look at my beautiful daughter and I think that she's 12 times more likely to become a victim of violence than any other race of women in my country and our sovereign territory, then that tells me that there's a huge problem. So if we don't acknowledge the truth in that, then we can't reconcile it. I think that Canadians have to hit reset on what they've been taught about who we are. It's really uncomfortable for people to talk about it, but we as Indigenous people have lived it for 500 years in our own territory. So if you're uncomfortable with it, own it, make change and do something with it. And then we can all move forward in a good way. Suzanne Smoke is the recipient of the 2020 Adlosa Peace Award for Respect. I'm really honored that I've been chosen for this award, um, but I don't work alone. I have an incredible team um, at Muskoka Perry Sound Sexual Assault Services. My boss, Lauren, who's an incredible ally and knowledge keeper. My team at MPSS has really taught me how to work um, in both Western and traditional knowledge. Also our street outreach, Indigenous harm reduction with Brian and Nook. And I just have uh, beautiful family and friends around me. Every time there's a call out for food hampers, turkeys, anything, uh, my family and friends come and show up and that's part of community. That's just part of loving my community and being part of it. Miigwech.